I'm Daniel, and this is a nugget of truth. Check this dude out. Herbert Spencer. Looks like a fun guy, right? Yeah, he's an English philosopher, a biologist, a sociologist, a prominent classical liberal political theorist of the Victorian era, whatever that means, and of course, an evolutionist. Now, this is the actual guy that coined the phrase survival of the fittest. So it's safe to say that, that he's not a big fan of God, but that's okay because we can learn something from this dude. Check it out. 1867, he wrote that space, time, matter, and motion are all necessary data of intelligence. These are either built up of or abstracted from experiences of force. This guy did a lot of philosophizing about the, the metaphysics of the universe. He pondered a lot of stuff, but anyway, he figured out at the basic level of everything, all natural phenomena can be segregated into five different manifestations. So what do we have? We have space, time, you hear about the space-time continuum, right? This is all part of that. Space, time, matter. You have those three, but guess what else you have? You have motion and you have force. So this fundamental scientific truth was articulated by an agnostic back in the 1800s. So for over a century now, scientists have recognized that all natural phenomena in the universe can ultimately be divided into interactions between five basic fundamental manifestations. Now, why is this so interesting? Well, I'm glad you asked. If we go to God's word, right? I mean, it's God after all. He knows everything. He can explain everything. And when there's basic stuff that he wants us to know, he actually tells us about it. So let's go all the way to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. Any of you guys ever read that far into the Bible before? It's, it's good. Genesis 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Do you see it? Okay, maybe you don't see it. Let me, let me break it down a little more clearly for you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So in the beginning, what's that a description of? That's time. Huh. All right, well, in the beginning, God, well, who's God? God's a force. God is the force. Sorry, Star Wars, but God's way ahead of you on this one. Okay, so in the beginning, God, what did he do? He created... Well, there's an action. That's motion right there. All right, what else do we have? What did he create? He created the heaven. The heaven, right? How do we describe the heaven? Well, that's, that's very spacious, isn't it? All right, so God created the heaven and the earth. And that, my friends, is matter. Why? Because it really, really does matter. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Time, force, action, space, and matter. Now that is an oddly specific coincidence for a bunch of primitive goat herders that are just trying to control the masses. Wouldn't you say? Actually, I recommend you go to God's Word and you read it. And you believe it. I dare you.